92,296 miles. That is no joke. Made it down to two tyres, down in Battersea. Bikes out of the van, bikes already on the ramp because I did book her in. Needed some fresh rubber on the bike. These boys are based over in Battersea, so if you need anything to do with your bike, servicing, repairs, tyres especially, these are the boys when it comes to the tyres. So, I had these Russell Corsa 3s on the bike, but as you can see, they are quite shredded. There is still loads of tread on them but in terms of grip are they still good enough for the track personally i don't think so so i decided to get a set of super courses sc1 and on the rare sc2 yes ben how you doing are you saying right? good yeah nice one bro yeah so these boys are looking after me they're gonna get these bad boys on the r6 and i could test them out at snetterton on my next track day yes dino yeah, man like dino yeah, so like I said, these boys over in Battersea, they look after me all the time. If you are in South London, need anything for your bike, make sure you hit these boys up. I am going to leave a little link in the description with their contact details. So if you need anything doing to your bike, get in contact with these boys. They are South London based. Their tyre stock is insane. Whatever tyres you need, hit these boys up, man. They got them for the best prices as well. Seventy one Harley Davidson Iron Head. This one is something a little bit different to the usual. I've moved a lot of Harleys, but I haven't actually touched a lot of classic Harleys, and this is one of them. Custom paint job, but as you can see, there's not much on this bike to actually paint, but that's a sick color. I don't know if you can see if the camera's picking it up, but it's got loads of little flakes in there. Looks like candy red. So so sick. SNS Super. I don't even know what that means. I don't know much about Harleys at all, but that looks sick. A lot of polished bits on the bike. The wheels, they look sick. Personally, if I had this bike, I'd make it all black with that candy. But the chrome works, the polished bit works. It's a sick, sick bike. Sort of mini ape hangers. Nice little touch on the bike, but even like maneuvering the bike, a lot of hard work. So I could only imagine what it's like actually riding this bike. Now this bike belongs to a returning customer 
Imogen, but she's a little bit camera shy, so she don't really want to say much. But another nice touch on this bike. That is sick. Not gonna swear, but that's sick. That's a nice touch, man. Really, really nice touch. Pipes on the bike as well. Sounds so sick. Straight from the engine, straight through, no baffles, no cats, none of that silliness. It sounds sick. So, I'm gonna fire this bad boy up and let you lot hear it because it sounds so, so nice. It's super, super loud, as you can imagine, but it sounds so, so sick. So what have you got here? I think that's a phone mount, not too sure. But like you can see on the bike as well, there are no clocks on the bike. There is no petrol. You can't really tell how much petrol is in the bike and all of that stuff, no clocks. Little switch here, not too sure what that's for. What's that switch for? Is that a kill switch? Oh no, that's the light. Oh, that's the light. So yeah. manual lights, you gotta flip the lights on with that little switch. Sick, sick bike, man. Really, really like this one. Couple of little things I'd change on it personally, but it's a sick, sick bike. So let's fire this bad boy up, hear how it sounds, and then yeah, we'll get her in the van and get her to the final destination. You wanna fire up for me? A beast. Definite thumbs up from me. Let's get this bad boy in the van and let's get it over to the final destination. And that's it me for today. Peace. 2003 Fireblade 954. This one's for a regular customer. I have fit this bike up a few times, man like Jay. He hit me up to get this bike over to FWR to get some work done. His wheel bearings were gone. Now this bike tells a massive massive story he's had this bike for about two years and if you ever see the mileage on this bike it's the highest mileage bike that i've ever moved but you know what this bike has been everywhere this bike's been around town this bike's been on the motorway this bike's been a courier bike this bike has been to hell and back but let's have a look at this mileage man we've got the gpr steering damper and Jay's got this as well. I done these years ago. So that's how you know he's been supporting for a long time. Let's look at this mileage. 92,296 miles. That is no joke. But yeah, man, let's get this bad boy into the garage, get his wheel bearings done. And I think, what else have you got to do on the bike? Anything else? I don't even know. What else you got to do on the bike? Um, just bearings. Bearings little service or whatever maybe heated grips and that old school heated grips if you see these you know how old school these heated grips are man but yeah man asv levers braided lines come on it's pride and joy let's go mm -hmm. 